Now, there's been a sensational development this evening, just hours before the opening arguments in one of the biggest defamation trials in US history. Fox News, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch and America's uh, most watched cable news network, has agreed to settle a huge lawsuit out of court. Uh, Fox has agreed to pay nearly $800 million to a voting machine company called Dominion Voting Systems, which had accused Fox News of spreading false statements after the 2020 presidential election, which uh, Donald Trump lost to Joe Biden. Now, Fox News repeatedly broadcast false claims about vote rigging and in the process blamed Dominion and its voting machines. Now, the news about the settlement came uh, within the past hour or so. Let's join our correspondent, Michelle Fleury, who's in Delaware. And Michelle, tell us, first of all, what kind of impact this, uh, this outcome had and how damaging could it be to Mr Murdoch and to Fox? Look, I mean, this was very abrupt. We had got to the stage where lawyers, the jurors had been sworn in, lawyers were sat at the table and they were waiting to begin opening arguments. Then the delay, the wait. After about three hours, finally the judge came back in and announced that a settlement had been reached, thanks in part to the jurors. And he mentioned the jurors saying that that essentially added pressure for these two parties to try and reach a deal, one that sees Rupert Murdoch's media empire pay out, as you mentioned, $800 million, but crucially avoids the spectacle of him and other executives, as well as some of Fox Net News Network's top stars, from having to take the stand and answer questions from Dominion's lawyers. All of this, of course, is about not just press freedom, but the idea of accountability for disinformation. This, as we uh, look back on the 2020 U.S. election, but also as we look forward to the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Michelle, many thanks for the latest there in Delaware. Michelle Fleury, our correspondent there outside the 